mixing and application of C metal coatings. The C metal coating is a metal coating that has a higher metal content than the B coating. And it also includes two other additives, two components that include a hardener, the large bottle on the right, and a catalyst, the smaller bottle on the left. Both bottles are marked with increments on the side of the bottle to allow you to measure out the um, appropriate amount of the hardener and the catalyst. We will start by measuring out the proper amount of the copper paint. Now this is much like the B coating except it has a much higher concentration of metal and then by adding the hardener and the catalyst will create a very hard metallic surface that can be sanded and buffed to a better shine than the B coating. Anytime you're using these metallic paints in a sprayer like you'll see later in this video it's very important to strain the paint to remove any lumps that might clog your sprayer later on. So you'll, you'll notice here we're using a stainless steel strainer to strain the paint base before we start. And we're measuring out about 16 ounces and you'll notice that that amount will correspond with the tick marks on the side of the hardener bottle and the catalyst bottle. Now here you'll see Ron is showing all the little lumps and little goodies that were hidden in the paint. If we hadn't strained the paint that would all be material that might clog our spray gun. Now we're ready to add the hardener and you'll notice these little tick marks here are what we're going to go by. We want to pour out just to that first line and that will give us the allotted amount of hardener for 16 ounces of paint base. Notice we're using a squirrel cage mixer to mix this in and this way we don't have to worry about it uh, activating too quickly by dispersing that throughout the mixture evenly we don't have to worry about that kicking off too fast when we add the catalyst. Now that we've added the right amount of hardener we're ready to add the catalyst and you'll notice here as Ron adds the catalyst he checks the bottle to make sure that he's only pouring out enough catalyst to uh, match the amount of uh, paint base that we've got here. This is about 16 ounces so we're pouring out to the first mark on the bottle. And now that the catalyst is in it's very important that we get that properly mixed in. And a quick note about temperature. If the components are too hot when you mix these together it can actually start to cure quickly uh, almost instantly and turn to cottage cheese. So very important to use the materials at 70 degrees so you can get the optimum amount of working time. Now our C coating is ready for application. Now in this instance we're going to spray this onto a surface using an HVLP sprayer. Spraying on the C coating is ideal because it yields the smoothest finish possible, especially if you're going to buff this to a, a shine later on. Now keep in mind at this point we now have eight to nine hours of working time with our paint which can be extended by putting that paint into a refrigerator between coats. Once you've finished applying your C coating, in this case on this uh, decorative piece we're going to apply some light green patina. And you always want to apply your patinas while the final coat is still wet. Here Ron is misting on a light coat of light green patina. And light green patina tends to result in more of an apple green look rather than the more blue green look of the Tiffany green. Once that patina has been applied, as the final C coating dries, you'll notice the, the copper coating starting to turn. And over the course of a few hours, we'll get a vibrant green patina. And since we've used the C coating, we can sand that back and buff and polish that to bring it to a high shine and leave that a green patina in some of the recessed areas. Now, when we go back to buff and polish, our finished C coating piece. This was the following day when we went back to sand this. We let this piece dry and let the resin component cure out for a full 24 hours before we went back to buff and polish this. And Ron is now going back with different uh, grades of steel wool starting with a fairly coarse steel wool and following that up with a finer and finer steel wool 
uh, until we're finally using quadruple-aught steel wool to polish. And you'll notice with the C coating, it takes a good bit of abuse and takes a great shine here. And there's our finished C coating. And this piece was done with the C copper coating and finished out with light green patina and polished to a shine with quadruple-aught steel wool.